Hi, it's Jane here from Elnor again. So we've got our 680 Plus, we've got it home, we've opened the box, we've wound the bobbin and threaded it up, and we've also done some basic straight stitching. The other thing I want to really look at today is so many people ask me, how do I put the walking foot on the machine? And it's not too difficult to do. So this is our walking foot that we've got here. It's a large white foot. So we can see we've got a little bar, which will go up and down with the machine. So this makes the foot walk. So it's quite straightforward to put on. It's not difficult at all, so we're going to do it now. I'm going to pop around. We need to actually take off the foot holder off the machine. So I'm going to pop the presser foot up. I've loosened this slightly already. So we're going to take this off and we're going to take the whole holder off. So we've got the foot and the holder. Leave the foot attached to the holder because it's very easy to lose the foot holder otherwise because it's quite a small item. So the foot goes on now. So we're going to sit it round the back clips on and the little white bar goes up over the needle bar on the top. I'm going to pop this on here. Let me just pop around and make sure I've got it sitting on. Yep. So screw this on on the side. And again, when you finger use it, do it finger tightened and then just literally give it a little quarter turn with the screwdriver just to make sure it's secure because with the vibration they can work loose if you're not careful. So the foot's on now and if you can see, I'm going to wind this forward you can see the little white bar here is actually sitting on top of the needle screw where we change our needles with a little clamp there, and that is what makes it walk as we're sewing. So what I'm going to do is put a little piece of, I've got a quilting sandwich here, we've got some wadding two pieces of fabric, we just take this needle up, pop the foot up and we're just going to literally start sewing and you'll see how it works, how it's actually moving the fabric through. So the stop start. And you can see how the little bar, as the time it's coming up, the foot is actually walking, and that's where you get its even feed walking foot. It's brilliant if you're doing soft furnishings, quilts, say you were doing coats, or anything with a lot of layers, because it stops the layers slipping on each other. So it's just a really nice addition to your machine with lots of different uses, not just specifically for quilting. So that's our walking foot. So thank you for watching. If you've got any queries or questions, then just pop them into the studio and we can answer them for you. And I'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.